In this tutorial, we will continue with the explanation of assembly design workbench. How engineers do it? Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It, to share the video among all of your friends, and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Quickly open up a product design and let's insert two parts or create two parts to explain you how the angle constraint works. So let's quickly go to components and create new part and then click on the double click on the new part and let's create two concentric circles one two and here one more Now double click on the line and create a line here and create another line here and then just trim off the remaining portions so we have a closed figure here a closed sketch exit the sketch and we will create the first part So you will understand why I have created this kind of uh, solid once I explain you the angle constraint. Double click on the product and insert our next component. As I've mentioned before, the method that we are using here to create the components is called as the top-down approach. Double click and again create the next part, similar part. So I'm just explaining you from the scratch so that you get a uh, practice over this while I explain you the concept of this as well. So that should be fine. Trim this. So that we have a closed sketch. Let's see if it's a closed sketch. Yes, that's a slow sketch. Now exit the sketch and do a pad. All right. Now we have two two solid objects. And now let's fix the first one. As I've mentioned before, firstly double click on the product in order to get into the assembly workbench and fix the first component. Or you could fix this as well. Now, we can use a coincidence or we could also use a quick constraint to constrain between the two objects here and then use the contact constraint to bring this together. Now let's just use the update command. Now we have br brought this together. Now, in order to control the angle that these two solid objects make between each other we need to use a angle constraint that's where our tool comes into picture click on the angle constraint and select two surfaces and as you can see we have different options here to specify where you need the angle so you could cycle between sector 1 to 4 to find out the apt one so in this case sector 3 is the one we need so just drag it here and specify the angle that you would like here 30 degrees and again go for edit update and that's it so you can decrease or increase this value by double clicking and editing it control you for update and that updates so that's about the assembly design workbench so let's see what comes ahead thank you for watching